everyone, welcome back. It's Christine again with The Artist Pod, and today we're going to talk about how to draw a Polish buff laced chicken. They're pretty cute, so let's get arting. All right, so here's the Polish buff laced chicken. <laughs> and I think they're really cute, um, if not a little ridiculous. So let's get started. So feathers are longer, which means um, I can draw them out longer, right? Like you try to keep hair the same size as the hair. So on a short-haired animal, that can take a long time. But with the feathers on this um, chicken, it's a lot quicker because their feathers are longer. It's multiple colors. It's got... Um, it, it, every chicken seems to be a little different, but for this one I chose a light brown, a white, and a dark brown. And they have a nice... Um, when you're drawing birds, oftentimes you have to sort of struggle to make sure the composition looks right as you come down and cut it below their head if you don't want to draw the whole thing. They have a nice, almost natural in because right on their, their neck there, that little fluff coming down is this burst of extra feathers before it goes back to sort of smaller feathers. And the beak is multicolored as well, so it's like that light brown, the dark brown, and, the, and gray. I'm going to have the light source. I know this might be a big shock, but I'm going to have it from coming from over here. As always, that means it's coming from above and in front of so that the subject is highlighted. And we're just going to get started. Now, even though, you know, as I say every time, um, even though the light source is above and to the right, the edge on the right will still be in shadow. That's how, you know, we indicate it's a three-dimensional object. And then, of course, on the back side, it's going to have more shadow because it's almost like a... <laughs> his head's very much like a ball, right? So you have that circular feature. And on the back side of the ball, the, the um, highlights will lessen off. Now, the, the feathers do kind of come in towards his beak, and at the beak, there's some shadowing. So... I do have it kind of bursting up as it comes off on the left side where that would be catching the light and then going into shadow as it comes in on the right side where that would be um, going into shadow because it's recessing back into the beak. So it just has that big fluff of hair. And then I have it kind of flopping over so that little bit under it by the eyes, um, I also leave in a little bit of shadow to give the illusion that it's sort of flopping, give it a little bit of depth. And his beak, I just have to make sure that I'm being careful of where the shadows are kicking in on the beak, that I'm consistent with all the different colors. And then, you know, tempering out, brightening up the white and tempering out some of the um, blockiness to the feathers that I did. Just lessening the shadow can help that. And then the eyes, you likely wouldn't be able to see the eyes like this, but we engage with eyes, so I do try to make sure that it looks like it's looking at us. <laughs> it really is a cute bird. <laughs> All right, so that is how you draw a Polish buff lace chicken. I hope that was helpful. In the floating nether next to me, I have other videos of art tutorials I have done, and in this specific floating nether box, there's a video to a longer explanation of how to draw the Polish buff lace chicken. So I will see you all soon. Thank you so much. Take care. Bye.